titles are behind a paywall, and the paywall is working. Paywall is working. So, uh, you know, for the first time now, we're actually getting paid for our content uh, on the internet, and uh, it, it's an exciting time for uh, Gannett. And, and really, if you look at uh, what our strategy is across uh, across the whole company, it's not just that one piece. We're uh, we're leaning hard into marketing services and really selling those marketing services to our local and small and medium businesses. And then really on the national side, it's really an interesting time for uh, USA Today and the rest of the company because now we're starting to ladder in all of the content that we have across uh, Gannett for a national ad strategy with a whole series of new products uh, that try to move us up into the, uh, in the marketing funnel. But USA Today is the oddball out. USA Today is not behind the paywall. Will you ever get to that? Point? I, I, you never say never, but I don't see that happening anytime in the near future. I mean, there are too, there are too many other uh, national news outlets that are free. CNN, where of course we used to work, uh, is free. You know, there's a variety of ways that you can get national uh, news for free. And, and USA Today is a little bit of a different uh, product because of the way it's not a home subscription product. It's a you know a business distribution model. So there are a lot of reasons why I don't see that happening. But uh, I've been around this business long enough to know that you can never count it out. Yes, you have, and we did indeed work at CNN.com together in the early days of early days. digital advertising with video. You were a pioneer. Pioneers get arrows. What do you think you learned from some of those arrows moving forward into Gannett's future of its digital business? You know, I think, yes, pioneers get arrows, but you've got to be relentless about things. And, and you know my point of view is that unless you're, unless you're really pissed off about something, no innovation happens. And I think, um, you know, for us back, back at CNN, it was, it was trying to figure out a better model for the distribution of video, particularly live video and getting those streams up. Now our, our, our big, uh, you know, wall in front of us is the mobile thing. And, you know, it seemed like in the last earnings cycle about three weeks ago, everybody woke up and said, oh my God, there's this mobile thing coming. And all the companies uh, started getting questions about their mobile ad revenue. And I just heard you talking about Facebooks, and you know, it's still a small segment of the market. Um, but but we're really bullish about this this transition because we think it opens up a whole nother set of uh, of opportunities for us. And if we can start getting mobile bought differently, right? So not just bought as a mobile segment, but bought as bought as part of a marketing strategy that includes mobile, uh, that gets really exciting. And I, and I tell people all the time, you know, these are just other screens, you know. And so when we look at the tablet, we look at the we look at the smartphone market, we look at the desktop browser, and so forth. If we can package those screens together, we can serve video uh, advertising in it. It becomes a whole different discussion uh, with the marketer, and that's that's really exciting for us. I would love to ask you what you're pissed off about to <laughs> to know what you're working on next. Uh, but Gannett's numbers, as you mentioned, did beat expectations in the last earnings cycle, largely because of the work that you're doing. Can that growth continue? Can that growing streak continue? Well, it's not just me. There's a there's a massive team of people, and I think it can continue because what you're what you're seeing is not just that one strategy. There is a multi-pronged strategy. You know, we have. We have uh, a company, uh, you know, like Career Builder, which is a, a huge part of the digital ecosystem. Uh, your producer asked me, you know, what do you think is the difference between LinkedIn and, and uh, you know, where Career Builder is going? You know, Career Builder is a very product-focused company, and they've they've had innovation after innovation, and they're focusing really clearly on their business consumers, uh, and there's monetization with that. You know, too many too many businesses that we have out here now in the uh, in the in the ecosystem, right, are, are reliant on direct advertising revenue only, and so we're we're really uh, trying to balance out the uh, uh, you know the revenue streams for the company, and, uh, and that's where we have a, by diversifying uh, and going into subscription revenue, right, for the for the local newspapers, ad revenue, national ad revenue, local and national. So it's it really is there are a lot of opportunities if you can get this right. Um, the thing that people don't know really about Gannett, we have 5,000 journalists at our company. So if we can stitch those people together and get that content shared across all of it, that's, that's what uh, is pissing me off is how do, we, how do we get that? How do we look at Gannett oh, as no. a unified company <laughs> and really take on the world really with those 5,000 journalists?